one. What's up, it's Chose. And I'm Valentina, and together we are Hymns and Metaphors. And you're watching Outspoken with Hymns and Metaphors. Bringing the kingdom to the culture. culture. Tonight we have an exciting show for you, and we're really excited to be here. We got another podcast for you. Before we get started, though, I want to do a big shout out to our broadcasting network that is our faithful and true friend that puts us out every single um, podcast. And we just are so appreciative to WITV7 Christian Broadcasters Network. We could not do this without them. Y'all, all we do is sit here and talk. Right. And, and they do everything else for us. And we are just so appreciative of them. They saw the vision in us. And they love that we want to share um, God with everyone else. And um, didn't we, like our last show got like really high ratings. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we appreciate you guys watching yeah. us and um, you know, we just want to give you some mm -hmm. more content. And so, but we have a really exciting show for you guys tonight. Right. Are you excited? I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited. So as you know, this is my husband <laughs> and he is a really dope Christian hip hop artist. Uh, if you've been watching us for any length of time, or if you know us personally, then you have heard some of his music because at the end of some of our shows, we always play either a song or I do a poem. And if you watch to the end, you will get another song at the end of this show. But like I said, and I'm really not being biased. Yes, he's my husband and I love him dearly, but he's like really dope. Like, He's just really talented. He has a good ear for music. He can put um, put songs together. He has a good ear for like a good beat, a good catchy beat. Um, and, you know, a lot of people put a bad name on like Christian rap and Christian mm -hmm. hip hop. They think it's lame or um, it's not, corny. it's what? Corny. Corny, <laughs> right. They think it's corny, um, but his music is not. He definitely comes at it um, from just a, a standpoint of, you know, you would listen to it if you were only into worldly music just because of the beat. But it comes with a good message and it comes with, you know, the gospel and the love of Jesus. Um, so he really has um, been been doing a lot for for the city of Charlotte. He performs at youth groups and outreaches. Um, he's performed at some prisons before. Um, you know, hymns and metaphors, he and I do a lot together where we go and we'll put a show together um, with, with the hip hop and then the spoken word. Um, so he's just really been doing a lot um, for the community. And he also put out a, an EP back in mm -hmm. 2017. It was his first EP as a Christian artist. Right. Well, what do you have coming up <laughs> next weekend? I'll be releasing my debut album as a CHH artist. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so I'm really excited about that. You know, it's going to be my first album, my first full album, um, 12 songs. My EP just had um, seven songs on it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'll, yeah. put, a, I'll put some some work into it. Some work. <laughs> okay. Time, effort, money, mm -hmm. tears, sweat, stress. Yes. <laughs> but you know what? I will say that you've also put a lot of prayer into it too. Yes. Because yes. I, yeah. and I'm coming from, you know, the behind the scenes, you know, I see him praying about his music and, you know, wanting it to be only about God and not about yourself. Right. And I really appreciate that. So November 2nd yes. is the drop of the album. It's called Return to Cinder. Return. Oh, oh. I have it on my shirt. Oh, yeah. Retur return to sender. Will you look <laughs> at that? Yes. Return to sender. So tonight we're going to do a sort of interview style. And usually we don't do that. Usually we just go back and forth and we talk. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be the interviewer. And okay. Chosen is going to be my subject. And he's going to answer some questions. Really the goal is just to kind of let the audience know more about you and about your album and, um, you know, your thought process and your just process of putting it together. Okay. So, all right. First question. Cool. What does return to sender mean to you and why did you name your album that? Well, return to sender to me means 
I'm just returning back to our Lord and Savior, returning back to our maker, um, just starting over, starting over and recalibrating, mm-hmm. like my, in, in the words of my pastor, uh, mm-hmm. John Lofton. Recalibrate. I named my album Return to Cinder because this album was made in a season where, a season where um, I just felt like I was going through so many things as far as the ups and the downs, you know, that comes with this faith walk. Mm. Um, it, it, it's been some good days, but it's also been some really bad, <laughs> really bad <laughs> days. Um, so the return to send it, I, I, named, I named my album that because, you know, going through all of these things, I realized that I there's no way for me to navigate this life without returning back to our Lord and Savior and, and um, having God's grace and having his wisdom and, and being able to, to pray and talk to him and develop a relationship with him to help me maneuver through this this crazy this crazy life that we're in. So yeah. that's why I named the Return to Sender. Um, and the uh, records that I have on that reflect the album because I have some records that um, they might be more upbeat and more of a, of, of a celebration. I have some slow records that might be a, maybe a call to repentance. Um, and I just have some records that just strictly just glorify God and just um, it's kind of like a reminder of, of who he is and how good he is. Um, so, yeah. So that's why I need to return to Senate. All right. OK. So now, like I mentioned earlier, this is your second mm-hmm. music project that you put out as a Christian artist. Yes. So, yes, the other one was an EP and <laughs> only had seven <clears throat> tracks. This one has 12. Mm-hmm. But tell me what is different about this new project compared to your old music that you had? Well, the first, the first, uh, I guess, attempt at me putting, <laughs> putting this music out, um, my EP was more of, um, I was in a different season then. Mm. Um, I had just really started developing my relationship with Christ on a serious level. Mm. So I just, at that point, I just wanted to be heard and I wanted to get a message across. Mm. So literally, um, uh, I really, did, I, I got with the producer, he gave me seven songs, I wrote the all seven, and then boom, put it out. And so your hey, old EP you? had the same producer on all the tracks? Yes, the old EP had the same producer on all of the songs. On my album, I have um, I have different producers that mm-hmm. I work with, mm-hmm. and um, different sounds, you know, so that's different sounds and different, uh, um, uh, I guess, uh, directions as far as for my lyrics, mm-hmm. different, you know. How do you how do you feel differently about this one than you did the other one? Well, I, I, it's the growth. Yeah. I feel like there's it's, it's growth, um, and I thank God for that. Um, mm-hmm. Like I said, with my EP, uh, I just was coming into it, and I just wanted to be heard. I just wanted to be heard and, and push this message. But with this album, um, like I said, I, I'm I'm touching on different things and getting a little bit deeper because I'm in a new season. So. Um, yeah, it's it's just it's just really it's new and it's different and I'm I'm really confident in it. Yeah. And I'm excited about it. Not only are the beats like really hot, but his lyrics are really deep. And he's really good at putting words together and um his wordplay and you know, just I mean, again, I'm not biased, but um and it's not just surface music. Like it's not just, you know, just trying to be nice and stuff. It's just a lot of deep, deep stuff in there that will either convict you or um, make you just feel the love or make you just want to get down on your knees and be like, I'm so sorry, God. Um, Yeah, so. Okay, so on, you said there's 12 tracks on your album. Yes. Now, I have about four, maybe five that are like my favorite that I would put on repeat over and over and over and over again. Okay. Now the whole entire album is dope, but I have five of my favorites. Okay. okay. I'm not going to tell y'all what they are because you're going to have to figure it out for yourself when you listen to the music on your own. But I would like to know what is your favorite track or maybe if you have one or two, but what is your favorite track on the whole album and why? Um, that's a hard question. Um, cause I, I put I feel like I put a lot in it. every song I try I, I do. Um, 
Well, okay, I, I got I, I got one. Okay. But I also want to name another one. Okay. <laughs> I know it's hard to pick one. I know it's like a five. Like, come on. Like, I have a can't song. Just pick one. I have a song called um, "Come and Go." Yeah, well, that's that's one of mine. That's one of my favorites. Okay, and I like that record because for one, the beat. It's got really, so I, fire. It's got a it's got a nice LA kind of LA vibe, kind of LA bounce. Make too. you want to like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I also sprinkled a little bit of apologetics mm. in, in the record. Um, I know it's a lot of people who, you know, a lot of non-believers and, you know, and scientists and all of that, they do the, they, they do the theories where they talk about the Big Bang Theory and, um, how, you know, we, we, we got here by some big cosmic explosion and how, um, you know, us as people, we evolved from apes and right. stuff like that. So I touch on a little bit of that in the record and I also, um, it, it speaks about the reality of the world we're living in mm -hmm. where man will believe um, something that's wrote by another man, whether it's an uh, article, um, uh, something in the media. A textbook that right. we study in school. Right, from a man that has a biased opinion, mm -hmm. but the excuse for not reading the Bible is because a man it was wrote, written by man. You know, so... Um, I, so Which on. really it wasn't, but that's a whole other <laughs> podcast. <laughs> so come and go. Um, and another one is I have is called Agape Love. Oh, that's my <laughs> other favorite. And um, Agape Love is just dope to me because it's just a different. It's definitely a different um a vibe. Um, I've never really experimented with actually recording a reggae island type of song. Um, I have wrote songs for that, but I have never recorded it for myself. Um. And then I also had a, an amazing artist. His name is Limo Blaze. that's featured on it, and he's a what a, a Christian. Um, I don't know, where, where's he from Africa? He's from Africa, okay. from Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. Lagos, Lagos, Nigeria. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he's an amazing uh, Christian recording artist, and he's done songs with the Truth and big names, and he has a big following over um, in Africa, and um, so it was just really dope to work with him. And and bring that 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 um that sound that yeah that sound that he brings to the actual record and it wasn't just somebody who kind of was just I guess playing with the accent yeah but he really has an accent yeah so um, yeah, yeah so th those are yeah. those are my my two uh, favorite records if I had to pick so well those are two of mine <laughs> also of okay. course I have several more but I agree with those okay. yes all right um. So let's kind of talk about um, a little bit about the process of writing. Well, writing, producing, making your songs, making the album in, in general. What kind of struggles did you have to go through? Um, especially like even, you know, towards the end, like even in this last month mm -hmm. of where we're preparing to actually drop the album and have an album release party and you know what kind of struggles have you faced during this process i've gone through a lot a lot of, <laughs> of a lot of pushback with this album mm -hmm. um i'm saying um my ep was like this i mean it was it i i talked to the graphic designer boom next day he sent me the cover um i recorded my songs boom i had my songs i didn't have to go back and change this and do this I mean, it was like, it was like this and I had it out. I had the EP a couple of months before I even released it. Mm -hmm. um, but with this album, <laughs> with this album, even with the cover art, I was going back and forth with the guy who was doing my cover art for about a good week and a half. Um, just, just trying to get, we had the idea, but he wasn't really, I guess, delivering it how I wanted him to deliver it. Um, even down to the songs and the sound. I, I, I went to the studio um, numerous times over one song, um, just trying to get the sound right, because the sound wasn't right. And I would hear it in my, my, my headphones, or hear it in the car, and it would sound different. And, um, and even with uh, getting the actual flyers in the covers for the CD, I mean, the guy said he lost it. He said he lost my order. He's like, oh, we don't have your name. Right. Like, what? What he, we paid already? Like, what do you mean? He he lost he lost my order. So it's like, I've just been getting a lot of of pushback with with this with this album, and um, it was to a point to where I had to really sit down and and ask myself like, like, Lord, is this what you want me to do? Mm. Um, like, 
do I need to stop? You know, I'm six or seven songs in and I'm like, well, maybe I just need to stop. Maybe I just don't need to put in, put, put, um, to make an album. You know, I even, you know, was, was talking to my wife, like, I don't even know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Um, so I just really had to, so I guess it was, I, I can say, I guess it was the Lord kind of speaking to me to maybe kind of get me to sit down mm -hmm. so that I could kind of come back to him and pray and just really get that confirmation that this is what I need to be doing and to trust him and he'll provide, he'll provide the growth, he'll provide the increase and he'll make everything happen. And um, crazy, crazy enough, that's really what happened. You know, I got the confirmation that I should keep going and I just said, Lord, you know, this is your will. I'm just going to let you have it. I'm not going to stress. I'm coming home stressing now and she has to hear it and she's trying to lift me up and, and keep me, keep me, um, um, I guess, in a good state of mind. And I just said, Lord, I'm just going to give it to you. And um, towards the end, that's when it kind of, things start, started to kind of fall in place. You know, we was getting the t-shirts. Um, I got the flyers printed out um, from my homie Cut right? He helped me out with that. <laughs> so it's towards the end that everything kind of like started to move and started to kind of like gain momentum to where I'm like, okay, this is okay. I don't, I don't have to go through this anymore. I'm not stressed about it no more. I'm just going to trust God with it. And um, here we are, almost a week and a half away and about to do the show. Yeah. So it's a blessing. Yeah. You know, and, and we even had like, you know, things hit us that didn't have to do with the music. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, we had just personal things, you know, from outside of us that were coming at us. Mm -hmm. And then I got sick. And then I got him sick. And so we've both been coughing for the past like three weeks, you know? And it's just like, it's just so many things within this past like month and a half that have really been just coming at both of us. Right. Um, and, you know, I, I spoke to our pastor about it and he, he confirmed something that I already knew in my heart, but you know, that just, that just means that this album really has weight in the kingdom because you know, the enemy's not happy about this. He's not happy at the message that is going to get out. You know, and we've been praying that that this just touches, you know, thousands mm -hmm. and thousands of people, even people that, that we would never see ourselves, but that, you know, it's it's shared and it's passed and, you know, that, that the gospel and the message that he has in his album really gets out to people and the enemy doesn't like that. He wants to stop that process. And he did. He put that doubt in your head to say, should I even keep doing this? You know, and, and I even told David, I was like, that you should be enjoying this season. Like you're about to put out your, your album and, you know, this dope music and, you know, you're not enjoying it because he was so stressed out and he was so just confused about why this was so hard. And, you know, I just was trying to tell him, like, look at this as, almost like, ha, 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 you know, like, yeah. you don't want me to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway, right. you know, right. and um, all you had to do is keep pushing through it, and, mm -hmm. you know, like he said, we're a week and a half away, and, you know, we got a really dope show we're putting together mm -hmm. for everybody, and yeah. so, um, yeah, so one more thing before we kind of end it and, and give people information about the actual show but what is something that you would want people to take away from this album? Like once they listen to it, listen all the way through, um, what would be maybe the main message that you would want them to take from it? I would want them to take from it that, you know, as, as, as people, as flawed people, you know, we're going to fall short. Um, we're going to come against things that we have doubt um, that we're going to get through them or not. Um, I just want them to listen to this album and be able to say, you know what? But without Jesus Christ, without our Lord and Savior, I won't be able to be sustained through this. I need him to, to, to be there with me every step of the way. I need him to, to continue to um, just continue to, to be that ear. You know, um, that's what I really just want them to take away the most from it. I want people to really listen to the lyrics. Um, some of it might convict you and some of it just might sound good, 
but I just want the, I, you know, overall, I just wanted to spark, you know, that interest of who God is. Mm. Um, even if, you know, you listen to the album and, you know, you don't want to listen to my album. You might, it might just spark your interest on Christian hip hop. Mm. You know, um, that, I think that's, that's what I want to say. You know, just, just strictly pushing the kingdom. It's all about God. Um, it's no pride involved in it. It's just all about pushing the kingdom and glorifying God and who he is. So, Amen. Amen. Yeah. So tell them about the upcoming album. I'll be Vanna. I'll be Vanna and I'll hold the. the... <laughs> so tell them about the upcoming album release party that we have okay. planned November 2nd. Mm-hmm. Okay. November 2nd is going to be at the exchange. If you're in Charlotte, it's a, a, a church called The Exchange, 635 Presley Road, Suite E, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28217. The doors open at 6 o'clock. It's from 6 to 8 p.m. Um, I will have my beautiful wife doing a couple of pieces there. I will have a dope Christian, another Christian artist, um, Gregory Luster, who's going to be doing some songs there. And I will have my mentor, the guy who put me in the Justice League, <laughs> Cut Right. Um, who also be doing some songs from his album, um, Marvel Us, that's out right now. Um, again, and it's free parking, free admission. And we also have some, uh, if you're able to tell me, I have some raffles and stuff that you might Raffles. Create. Look, y'all, we got raffle tickets. Right. You, can win some, <laughs> you can win some free CDs. We got T, we're going to give away a free T-shirt. We will also have these T-shirts for sale um, along with the CDs that will be for sale. Um, yeah, we got some some really cool raffle prizes available. Um, it's just going to be a really dope event all the way around. Um, and, you know, bring the kids, bring the family. This is a family-friendly event. It's all for the glory of God. Um, and it's free. Did you mention it's free? And it's free. It's you free. don't have to pay anything. Right. Parking's free. Everything's free. Free. It's free. 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 So everybody should be there. Free. <laughs> it's free. If, you, if you're free. If you're free, it's free. It's free. <laughs> um, but again, the, the actual album, if you can't, if you're not in Charlotte, we understand. We know you want to be there. Um, but if you're not in Charlotte, the album will be dropping on November 2nd. This is what the um, cover looks like. So you can find it on all social and on all music outlets. It'll be on Apple Music, iTunes, um, Spotify. Spotify, Amazon, SoundCloud, Ta- right. Everything that you can think of, it's there. Um, and we will be putting a link um, out on November 2nd mm-hmm. so that you can go and find all of those downloads and and download it onto your um, device so that you can listen to it anytime you want. And um, also, if you want a hard copy, yep. send us a message and we'll be happy to mail you a hard copy. Yep. Um, yeah, so, but I'm just really proud of you. Oh, I really am. I appreciate it. Because I know how much hard work that you put into this. And I I see the behind the scenes. And I see your heart for this. And you're really humble. Um, but you're also, like, really talented. Thanks. And you're my favorite rapper. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But anyway, we love y'all. We hope you enjoyed it. And we hope to see you November 2nd. Yes. Or we hope that you can download his music. You are going to get um, to hear uh, one of my favorite, on my top five favorite songs. It's called Solid. 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 So um, you're going to hear Solid. It'll be on his album, and he'll be performing it at the album release party. Um, So, yeah, check us out. Um, Send us a message if you're interested in finding out more about Chosen or Hymns and Metaphors. And we love y'all. Good night. Cheers. I'm saying that soft, but I'm silent I'm living what I preach, I just don't talk about it yeah. If you didn't know, but now you know, yeah If you didn't know, but now you know, yeah As believers, we standing on your promise God is the rock of my salvation, cause it's silent I really used to be a monster Disrespect the plan with minds And I might just pull up and pop you But that's not how you win though See my vision was foggy I needed the frost But sin almost roll me off like an author That's when God added me to his roster Like 2K 
Yeah. You don't have to wait to go be saved about today. Some people disrespectful with them words that they be saying. I know it's all, but Jesus said the love.